Hello Collective. Quick energy check. <sighs> so, as I'm driving from work today, I hear, I hear confusion and illusion. The confusion and illusion needs to end and it starts with you. So I continue to repeat this so that I don't lose this download. Because sometimes I, I'll be losing my downloads because, you know, especially while I'm driving, I don't have no way to, 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 to write stuff down. I'm focusing on the road. So I came home, showered, cleared my energy. And what I got was when your mind is clear, the way is clear. When your mind is clear, the illusion has no hold on you. Most of the time, we, ooh, my left lip, we think we're under spiritual attack, but it's something you keep thinking of. You keep thinking of, and by the way of you thinking of this, you allow the devil in to play on those fears, those shames, those concerns. Acts of acts for assistance from the most high to reveal what is what is eating away at you, what keeps you thinking of this, what's plaguing those fears. Put your trust in the Lord. The fear is an illusion. It keeps coming up because you have not faced it full force. So it doesn't keep, so it doesn't keep, Spirit saying to face it full force so it doesn't keep stopping you from moving forward. So I'm sitting here and I'm like clearing the energy, putting my stage and this card comes out. Some of you guys are working. This is the energy spirit wants you in or you are already in this energy. Fear, these illusions, blocks your vision. It blocks you from moving forward. To get to this energy is not an easy task. Okay, but to lose, to, to, to get demoted from this energy is so much more easier. Spivet needs you sitting on your throne, empresses, using your discernment and seeing things for what it is. Continue. Even if you're in this energy, you still got work to put in. Okay? Fear is an illusion, Spivet is saying. A lot of you guys, things are surfacing. Things are coming up. It's because there's something within you that has not healed that you haven't faced, that you, you're carrying it around. You're, you're allowing it to anchor onto you. How do you. How do you release that? Journaling, meditating, speaking to the divine, speaking life into yourself. Okay? Cast those fears out. What is the fear? What is it? What is it that keeps coming up surfacing in your mind? Release it. Ask God to reveal it. Deliver you from it. Speak peace into yourself. Yeah. This is a slow process. Okay? Just because you get to this energy, this empress energy, doesn't mean you stop putting in the work. Spivet is going to continue to test you. There's this one tarot reader I tell you, I've been telling you guys about that I've been following. Yeah. You're placing judgment on yourself. <laughs> oh, collective, I love you. Oh. Oh, is what is what you're putting out. 
And then some of you guys think that people are, uh, are you, you, some, you, a lot of you guys are under attack. Projections, projections of others. But how do you, how do you release that? You go butt ass naked to the divine. Divine, what is this? Why does this keep plaguing my mind? Deliver me from it. Show me what it is. Whether it's a shame, it's a concern, it's a fear, um, whatever it is, it you know you gotta you gotta keep putting in the work. Spirit is saying it's gonna be a slow process, but eventually these wands will start weighing down. You'll start releasing them one by one. That's because you don't want to face it. You see, you guys, head down. These are all the fears, the shames, the sins. The burdens, the baggage. And they don't want to, you don't want to face it. You just keep pushing it. Spirit's like, no, stand up. Okay, Spirit. Stand up. Look at it for what it is. Because we're bringing this to you. So you can see it and work on it. Okay. Sometimes we, we want to sit here and we want to keep remembering those pains because we're so used to being in that energy. We're so used to being traumatized, so used to being damaged, so used to being hurt that when we start sitting in this energy, it's foreign to us. So we're like, whoa, 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 peace, love, light, compassion, um, tenderness, gentleness with myself. It's foreign to me. I don't know any other way. I just know this way. Spirit said, well, release that. How do you release it? Talk to God. Man. Yeah. Listen. Make sure that when you're, when you're speaking life into yourself, you're speaking life into other people too. Because that could be something Spirit is showing you that you need to heal within yourself. Placing judgment on other people. That is the truth. Jesus, I love you, God. There's this one tarot reader that I absolutely, I, I, I love her on a soul level, like literally. And I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful to the most high God for bringing this lady into my life. We have conversations, <laughs> we laugh, we joke, we cry, we talk, we, 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 it's, ugh, I'm being hugged right now. God, I love you. Because God knows what I needed at this time and who that person would be for me at this time. I know this lady has something to do with my divine lineage in my past life. The connection is just felt oh i'm being hugged Ooh. and i talked to her with honesty i talk with her with honesty and it's so it's so beautiful because there was work i needed to do and God led me to her because she was the only one that could reveal it. At some point in time, the, your favorite tarot readers that you guys watch, you'll surpass them. And you need, to, you need to get elevated. And so God will bring another person, another guide, another mentor, another, another soul, another soul tribe in your path that's a little bit more elevated than what you've been seeing. I, since the beginning of my journey, there was one tarot reader I followed all the time because she helped me in the beginning of my journey. Now that I've evolved, her readings were not resonating with me anymore. And that's okay. That's not to take away from her because she is fucking phenomenal. And I love her on a soul level too because she doesn't even know how she helped me. It's stages to this. There's levels to this. And God knew that that one. Yeah, look it. <laughs> Spirit. 
God said, we need to bring you somebody, somebody different. And God knew I was going to take that leap of faith and reach out because he put it in my head. Reach out to this person. And I did. 10, 10. Okay? I did. I was obedient. I listened to spirit because I knew the stage I was in, I needed to excel. And excel. I needed to get to the next tier, the next level. And the one who would help me get there would be this soul sister. And I'm so grateful for her. She knows who she is. I love our every morning audios, our little chats to each other. Good morning. Good night. <laughs> I just love it. I'm realizing I'm finding my soul tribe. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. You have to know you are here for a reason. These people are placed in your life for a reason. They may not stay the test of time. Because like I said, there's levels to this. And somebody here is in fear. Fear of what, sweetie, honey, sugar plum? <laughs> what are you in fear of? Being judged? The Most High knows you already. Are you fearful of being judged by people in the physical? What the heck? Who are these people? They're not more greater than the Most High. The only person that can judge you is God. Have mercy on me, O oh Lord. Mm. 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 You hear that scripture? Mm. Fear of what? <laughs> Spirit, I love you. I love you, God. I love you so, 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 so much. I'm so grateful for my path. I'm so grateful for all these burdens, for all these judgments, judgments I placed upon myself, shames that I placed upon myself. Why was I, why was I doing that when I, at that time, was not awakened? Why do you hold that on you? Some of you guys need to sit confidently in your throne. You are here for a reason, Queen of Wands, Empress. Hierophant. You are here for a reason. God chose you. The angels love you. They guide you and protect you. When your mind is clear, the way is clear. Fear is an illusion. And the moment you guys get that, okay, and start implementing that in your head, some of you guys are manifesting these things in your life. You're highly protected. The Most High sees you in this energy. This is beautiful ass energy. Empress, the queen of wands. Let's not get mistaken here. This is a powerful ass manifester. A lot of people mis misjudge the queen of wands as somebody who's promiscuous. It's her energy. Her energy attracts. Now, let's multiply that with this Empress energy plus this Hierophant energy. This is the highest of, the, of, of all highs. M Hierophant, High Priestess. This is how God sees you. So why would you judge yourself in these ways when God doesn't even see you like that? You got to start believing you're here for a reason. Close that fucking cycle out. Close out the cycle. 
Close out the cycle of placing judgment on yourself. Of caviating these sins, caviating these burdens, caviating these shames, caviating these traumas, these hurts, these pains. My boyfriend of 27 years cheated on me. Okay, forgive them and move on. My mother abandoned me and left me to figure out how to be a parent on my own. Okay, forgive them and move on. It's not going to happen like this. It's going to take time. But you have to put the what? The work in. You have to put the work in. Care about who? What these people that are not even awakened? You care about what those people think about you more than you care about what the most high cares about you, thinks of you? I'm learning so much. Hold back from those types of people. Hold back from judging yourself that way. See yourself in the eyes of God, the way God sees you in the eyes of love. I'm learning so much from, 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 from this lady. Like she, she's so phenomenal. Hold back from these, these, the devil. The devil's in your, your head, making you feel this fear. I can't, well, I don't want to be, I don't want to be famous because I'm so scared. I don't want to be on YouTube because I'm so scared that people are going to start digging into my background. What? Some people are scared of being in the front line. Because if they're afraid of people digging up the dead past. Fuck that. I said it. That's this thing right here in your ear. Blocking you from moving forward. From, from, from collecting your divine inheritance. God said this is your time. This is your life. This life. That I brought you back in here, this world, this new, this you right now. You're supposed to be collecting this divine inheritance. How dare you turn away from it? So you choose these devil things over. You put your faith in, in, in men before you put your faith in God. Don't get God mad. Yeah, paranoid. What if people, what if people find out my past? So what? So what? It's being illuminated. Don't sit here and miss out on something because you are allowing the devil to block you from moving forward. Don't do that. Spirit said you're here for a reason. <laughs> Spirit! Talk to them, Spirit! You're on the good side of karma and you're putting your trust and your faith and men, instead of trusting and putting your faith in the divine, look at you. You got all these archangels surrounding you. I remember when I first got my first tarot reading, guys. This lady, I never did. I never looked at tarot before, and this is not the same YouTube person I'm talking about that I, I followed in the beginning of my journey, right? This is somebody off YouTube. She sat there and she's physically like verbally told me who are you and i said what and she was like who are you she said because she in the beginning of the the call she was telling me to talk to her about what why i needed this tarot reading give her a little bit of information so as i was talking she was pulling the cards and she said out loud who are you and i was like what she was like, I'm sorry I said that out loud. I thought I said it in my head. But she's like, I, she's like, she, she was like, I see Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, St. Peter. Um, there was another one. I have it written down in my book. She said, I just see all these archangels coming down, surrounding you. And she's the one who told me I was an earth angel. She was the one who told me I was an earth angel. And she told me to start blogging, vlogging, opening up my Facebook. So I created my account. 
And I was, I was scared. And I didn't know what to call it. And she gave me some names that were coming down as a download for her. And here we are, almost three years later. Her Fangio Oracle 888. And, yeah. Off of me sitting here as a page. A page of pentacles just learning, walking my path. Transforming. Transforming the new. I was, I was in the new. The new. I didn't know what was going on with me. But I always felt the calling. I was just telling one of my coworkers about this. I see orbs in my eyes. I was just telling one of my coworkers about this. We've oh, I've always had spirits following me in every house. I always knew they were there. I've ca I've caught EVP sessions. We've caught pictures, videos. Okay, I've had people running out of my house because they were so scared. But Spivet knows what they were doing getting those people out of my house. They were not good for me. Okay. The lovers. I could look at this as your masculine, your feminine duality. Okay. Balance. Keeping yourself balanced. Yeah. Yeah. Cutting through the illusion. What are we talking about? The illusion. The devil is the author of illusion. Fear is an illusion. How do you fucking cut through it? You face it full force. You ask God to help you release it. Show me what it is that I need to see so that I could finally release this. What's weighing me down? Because you're a magician. What did I just say? The Queen of Wands is a powerful ass manifester. Matt, um, with the Empress and the Hierophant and the Magician, what are you going to manifest? Burdens or prosperity? What are you going to manifest? Why are you placing judgment on yourself? Nurture yourself. Be tender. Be gentle with yourself. Those projections from lovers, friends, family members, upbringings. You watching too much social media, wishing you were Kim Kardashian. Wishing you were this person, that person. Wishing you could have a booty or butt like that person. That's a, that, stop. Love yourself. Love yourself. Mm-hmm. You're highly protected. 11 11. You're highly protected. You're highly intuitive. You're supposed to be in this emperor energy, sitting your throne. Sitting your throne. Don't allow this devil shit to consume your mind. Because when you allow that shit to happen, you manifest that negativity. You start manifesting that shit. Mm-hmm. Hierophant. This is who you are. Hierophant. High Priestess. Being guided. Sail to karma waters. Your intuition is trying to guide you. To karma waters. Speak life and peace on your life. This came out in the reverse. So I'm going to give it to you in the reverse. Do not allow this devil shit. To block your intuition. Do not. Do not allow your intuition. To be clouded by this dark shit. It's an illusion. Break the illusion. Love yourself. God loves you. I'm going to put it in the upright. Spivet is guiding me to do that. 
I just needed to give you guys that side note, okay? One more. Please and thank you, divine. Most high. <laughs> Did I not say you're protected? Whoever you are, you're protected. You, you're so balanced. You're coming up as the Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Hierophant, High Priestess, Emperor, Empress. You're so balanced. Some of you guys are in a union. Okay? Don't let the mind be eager to tear you apart. Ooh. Ooh. That's your message. Spirit said take it. Okay, Spirit. This is your message. This is your message. Somebody needs to know. God loves you. You have made it to this energy. Why go back? Why revert? It's an illusion. This is what I got for you guys. Mwah. Love and light.